Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be filming a glam makeup look and I'm super excited for this video because for the first time I'm going to be using my Carity Picante palette and y'all, just look at these shades. So bomb. I cannot wait to use this palette. I've been waiting to use it until I filmed. So just jumping right into things i'm going to be using the shade bobby right here and i'm applying that to my crease now the only thing that i don't like about this palette off rip is that there's no mirror on the palette um it's not a humongous deal, it's not a deal breaker or anything like that, but I just prefer my palettes to have mirrors on it because it makes sense, you know? Take, I believe the shade is called Aish. I'm going to take that and I'm apply that um, in my crease as well. Next, I am going to take the shade Bittersweet, which is right next to Aish, and I'm going to apply that to my outer V. And I'm just using the same brush over again. And I'm going to slowly bring this color in. So yeah, I'm going to go in with my Modern Renaissance palette and take the shade Cypress Umber and I'm going to apply that to the crease. I mean, not the crease, but my outer V instead, right on top of that bittersweet shade just to deepen this color up. I know this looks a little crazy. It's going to come together as usual. Y'all got to trust the process. I'm taking my concealer and on the concealer brush, wait, what concealer am I using? I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer and with the concealer brush, I'm just going to take some off the applicator and I'm going to cut my crease and I'm just going to place it on my bottom lid, bottom lower portion of my lid and then look up and that is a little cheat sheet that I learned from Nicole Guerrero on how to cut your crease. I'm going back in with that palette, the Picante palette, and I'm going to use the shade Morning, which is right there, and with a dense eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to apply that where we put the concealer. Ooh. Okay, it's not as pigmented as it was on the brush, but actually let me see something. Let me dampen my brush real quick and then try to apply it and see if that makes a difference. Okay, there we go. Wow. That is such a pretty gold. Like the camera is not even doing it justice right now. That is so pretty. Okay, now it's still time for face. I'm going to be using my Milani Conceal 2-in-1 um, foundation in the shade 0910. As always, don't forget to hit your neck as well. Nice and even. I'm going to, might as well just stick with Milani and use the Milani Retouch and Erase Lightning Concealer. 
Like this video is all over the place. Hopefully it turns out okay in the end, but I don't want to do this. I'm going to blend out my under eye concealer first and I'm using my e.l.f. fluffy concealer brush and I'm just blending that out. And I'm more so tapping it into place and it's slowly spreading out instead of moving the product a bunch. And then when I get to the side of my eye, I'm going to, after I blend it out a little bit, I'm going to go up and down at an angle just to clean up my eyeshadow. Like so, and then blend downwards. going to set my contour with my Beauty Treats palette and I'm taking the darkest shade right here and setting my contour. For mascara, I'm using my L'Oreal Carbon Black and applying that to my lower lash line. Highlight, I'm going to use my Nicole Guerrero palette. I'm using the shade 143. Okay, and to finish off this look, I'm using my ColourPop lipstick in the shade Limbo. Okay guys, that completes this look and I must say I'm super duper impressed with this palette so far. The pigmentation on this gold once I wet it and gave it a foil look is absolutely stunning. All of the colors that I used were super pigmented. There wasn't a lot of fallout, if any. I definitely don't think there was any fallout. Um, and there was minimal kickback on the palette, which is good in my book. But yeah, I definitely love how this look turned out. This is a perfect fall night look. And I really enjoyed creating it for you guys. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye. Don't play with a dog. Don't play with a dog. Don't be the same.